The new Labor government will move to reform the aged care sector and to combat climate change as immediate priorities when Parliament resumes next week. Politicians will return to Canberra next Tuesday for the first time since the May election. Ahead of that, the Prime Minister's confirmed the first pieces of legislation to be introduced to Parliament will be amendments to the Aged Care Act to boost the nursing workforce and tackle high administration fees and a jobs and skill, skills bill. Anthony Albanese will also move to legislate his election commitment to give victims of family and domestic violence 10 days of paid leave. On climate change, there will be an attempt to legislate a 43% emission reduction target by 2030, but that bill is already facing a roadblock from the Greens and some independents who want to see a more ambitious target. Greens leader Adam Band says he's ready to negotiate with the government on the climate bill before the party reaches its final position in the coming weeks. From today, COVID-positive workers isolating at home can once again claim pandemic support payments. The one-off $750 lump sum is available for those who have no sick leave available and will lose more than eight hours' work due to forced isolation requirements. The scheme had ended last month but was reintroduced by the Prime Minister in response to rapidly rising COVID cases. Government Services Minister Bill Shorten is encouraging people not to use their personal leave and claim the payment instead, warning the virus will run rampant this winter. What this is about is we're at the peak of a pandemic. We hoped that this third wave wouldn't be as severe as it's appeared to be. The previous government stopped it. Uh, Prime Minister Albanese, based on medical advice, has said, listen, we have to put it back in place as a temporary basis as the COVID surges yet sadly again. The payments will be available until the end of September when federal and state leaders say they'll begin to look at reducing the isolation period from seven days to five. An emergency mayday call has sparked an investigation over safety concerns as a Qantas passenger jet ran low on fuel while queuing to return to Perth. The pilots signalled the alert after being put into holding patterns as a result of delays at the Western Capitals Airport. The aircraft landed with 20 minutes worth of fuel remaining after being told the holding period would extend a further 16 minutes. Four other planes were circling the airport when the Boeing 737 landed following a five-hour flight from Brisbane. The Air Safety Bureau will release a report when their investigation concludes. Domestic airfares have climbed so high in recent weeks it's now cheaper to fly to some overseas destinations than holiday here at home. Airlines have jacked up their prices by as much as 96%, but after two years of border closures, people are still willing to pay.